my name's Tony Brown. I live in Le Mans in France. Here you see the 1952 Le Mans aerodynamic C-type. In 1952, Jaguar decided, because of the need for high speed on the Mulsan Strait, to change the aerodynamics of the standard C-type. Three cars were built at a very quick time in May 1952. Unfortunately, due to problems with overheating, the cars dropped out. The problems were very simple and were rectified after the race. But Jaguar decided not to continue with the series of cars and indeed cut them into pieces. Around 10 years ago, as a Jaguar fanatic, I learned that these cars existed. And seven years ago, I started a serious research for photographs and plans of the car. The plans did not exist, and so we decided to build the car by using a CAD CAM principle with photographs. It took me five years to find 20 photographs, and we then went from there to the build, which has taken two years. This is a car which is completely built exactly identical to the original even down to the last degree. Every body shell was different. Every car had slight variances. And because of the enormous help that I received from one of the drivers of 1952, Ian Stewart, I built the number 19 car, built, driven by Ian Stewart in his honor. The 17 car was driven by Sterling Moss, the 18 by Rolt Hamilton but I decided to build this car in his honor. The engine of this car is a 3.4 liter Jaguar standard XK engine, but with sand cast H8 carburetors and modified to give a higher output. In the day, the cars put out 210 brake horsepower. This car puts out about 240 with modern technology. We could go further, but I decided not to because the car is for racing and for rallying and for road use. I can't talk about a best experience with the car because the car is brand new out of the box. We still have problems to resolve, oil surge, which requires further baffles in the sump. Minor problems, we have to do high speed testing to overcome the overheating problem, to create some ducting through the radiator rather than around it. But the whole principle of this car is since the original in 1952 race but once, this car is already it's, uh, down and it's uh, to race at the Le Mans Classic in, 19, in 2010. What is the best thing about owning this car? I'm not quite sure really. Some people might consider me a fool for building a car that was a total failure. Others say that it is a missing link because there are certain things about this car, the curvature here and the nacelle, which comes straight off a short nose D-type. So there is a link here between the C and the D. Or therefore, it shows already that Malcolm Sayer, the designer, had the D-type in mind in 1952. As to whether I should have built it, there will always be a doubt in my mind, but I'm, a Jaguar fanatic, and that is all I can say.